I'm throwing this together. I don't care. I just got back from the library, the dollar store, and this is what's running through my mind as biological living light, a child of the sun, the Reverend Dr. Richard W. Arthur Jr. I went to high school at CRLS. And when I started high school, it was called Cambridge High and Latin. And they were going to change the name of the school to the Frederick K. Ringe Technical School. And as the student advocate, I'm like, uh-uh, I'm Richie Arthur Jr. I ain't going to no goddamn technical school. You got to put the Latin in that bitch. Of course, I didn't say it like that, but. <laughs> so, I had influence on the name change. And how many of those in Cambridge graduated from Cambridge Ringe and Latin School? I did in 1980. And also on my trip out today, I walked walking to the dollar store and had to walk past the Mariah Baldwin school. And I'm like, mm, that was called the Agassiz school at one point. And I had influence on the name of the chain, <laughs> the name change to Mariah Baldwin. There were names so I'm like, uh-uh, we need to have more schools named after some black folk. <laughs> that was the Mariah Baldwin. But John Wilson and I, and all this is coming out because Nina La Negra and I spoke. And she remembers our dealings with the Mariah Baldwin and for some reason I made reference to John Wilson but John Wilson was a Morehouse brother who was up here in Boston and I'm from Boston and went to Morehouse down in down in Atlanta and he and I worked together to establish a Saturday school for young black men between the ages of like seven and teenage years or whatever. That ended up becoming the W.E.B. Du Bois Saturday School. And that... <laughs> I'm. I don't know what's going on. But all right, so walk past Mariah Baldwin, get to the dollar store, and then walk up into Porter Square, and then there's the billboard. Benjamin Banneker Charter School. You can have your children sign up for the Benjamin Banneker Charter School. I'm like, oh, that's right. The W.E.B. Du Bois Academy grew into the Benjamin Banneker Charter School. So there was more education for black folks. But still in a calcified, dry eye value structure system. So, 
So Melanin Man, biological living light, coming into himself at five minutes into the segment. Five. Can't leave out the digits. My interpretation. The five is three types of lines. It's a longitude, a latitude, or a right angle, and a curve. And Melanin Man is putting together his curve in a standing substantial and insubstantial. I know I lost a few folks, so let me just try to the Bible talks about insubstantiability. Oh, I'm doing this on December 26th, the day after the x mess on the first day of Kwanzaa. I'm talking as biological living light in a new era of thinking for years to come beyond thinking out and up but more down and in five dealing with the three lines Longitude, latitude, and the curve. And the five is after the four. The four is the foundation. And walking to the dollar store, looking at the train tracks, the purple line. Oh. There's the line from Pittsburgh or wherever out in Western. Blah, 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 blah. Those coming in to downtown Boston. I get to walk past them at Porter Square. And then there's the two tracks going from downtown Boston out to wherever. Wait a minute. Two and two. That's four. So you're dealing with a right, how is it drawn? A right angle and a stem. Here's the one or the stem and then there's a right angle up. Hmm, dealing with the directions of the lines. And wait a minute, four, oh, that's a square. Are we dealing with all aspects of our humanity substantially and insubstantially in upper and lower levels of our existence as biological living light I'm only dealing with mind over matter oh the five the right angles over the matter of curves. Christianity, walk by faith, not by sight, for faith is the substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. Evidence of things not seen is dealing in a level of insubstantiability. That's your faith. Do you have faith enough to believe in your own divination? Are you that creative? Or are you just going to value a dry eye? 
Oh, no, you're not divine. Believe in Jesus Christ. Energies out and up, not down and in. I'm sorry. Melanin man, biologic. My biology is logic. The logic of my mind is my mind is over all matter. Is this comprehensible? You have enough faith in yourself to believe in your divination. And all you have to do is think positive about your existing from day to day, taking life one step at a time. One and one is two. Two is the substantial, but it also represents the, if it's showing you the yin, there's also the yang. The yang is not defined or the insubstantial is not defined. One and one is two. And three, the parabolas. I don't think I spend enough time, 11 minutes in. I want to spend more time dealing with the curve. The three visually is half and eight. My eight is the DNA. So there's the upper sphere and the lower sphere, but then there's the substantial and the insubstantial in my existence. That's the DNA of humanity. But three, that parabola there is the entrance way into humanity through any way you look at that three. It looks like a pair of breasts or it looks like an ass. And right there in the middle is the entrance way to our existence. We entered through the womb, a hole, after, oh shit, nine months in the womb. I just got through talking about the three, three types of lines, the right angle and the curve, and then the three, six, nine, oh, the nine is the full sphere at the top of the stem, 13 minutes in. Are you able to keep up with the curves? Three and three is six, that's death. But after death is the right angle. The seven, the right angle at the top of the stem, just before the eight, the DNA, all of that is me before I come into being born. Biological living light child of the sun, melanin man, above and beyond the past 400 years of misinformation and self-hate, but allowing myself to see my divinity as I enter into 2023. Thank you. Did I get all my threes? No, I still have more to do about the three. There's so much to deal with, with the digits and our mindset and what we haven't been taught, but I'm only touching upon pieces.